so we have that and this. This is gonna be a great pile. I can already tell. Hello and welcome to the Ellen Made Book Club. Today we're gonna be picking out what I'm gonna be reading in June. So I'm trying to be a little bit more ahead of time <laughs> this time around because when I chose my books for May, it was already May and we were picking out, you know, a book for book club and people had already, you know, decided what they were going to read in May. So I'm trying to be a little bit more quick this time and I'm also going to try to keep it a little bit more simple. No events add-ons to this. <laughs> um, just going to do the prompts this time. However, I do have two books already that I want to read in June. The Wager by David Gran and Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I might also want to read Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler um, because that's set in, I think, June or July in 2024. But like it was written so that that was in the future, but now that's now. So it would just be cool to read that <laughs> this summer, um, but I might save that for July. Um, if you're new here, welcome. This is my TBR jar where I have prompts in five different categories, in five different colors. Um, so I'm gonna pick a prompt for each category and I'll pick those five books. And those five books will be my pile of possibilities for June. And I'm thinking that for book club in June, we can do The Wager, Piranesi, and then we'll put up a poll and you can choose one of these five for a potential third one. Okay? Sound good? <laughs> I also meant to say that like if I have trouble choosing a book for one of the prompts, I'm just gonna pull another prompt and then I have to match both of those. Okay, first prompt is a double one. Green. And we have, oops, let's see, historical. Um, should I choose immediately or, ooh, I could do the confession, or should I save this and then try to like, I think I wanna pull more prompts at the same time. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. No, that's another green. Another green. That's one pink and one blue. Let's do the pink one. Let's not put that, oh. <gasps> oh my God. Oh. I need to calm down. <laughs> okay. So we have one word title. I just smashed it and then this it's not too bad, it's just the piece right there. <laughs> One word title, that's pretty easy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's just pull the rest. Memory card was full, so let's see, okay. Let's see, green. I don't know why I'm rushing. Pink one, we already have pink. Blue. And then we have, hmm, supernatural. Hmm, that's difficult. Supernatural. I'm not even sure I have any. Well, maybe. Ooh, well, that's too big. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Blue. I need. Purple and yellow. No, that's green. Green. Green and yellow. Okay, so let's do this yellow one. And this is... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Set in Asia. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I have to remember these are like possibilities, not my mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> TBR for the month. Okay, now we just need a purple, and I think purple is color, isn't it? 
Okay, we have a purple. And we have... Dark. It says dark. <laughs> um, let's see. Historical, one word, title. Supernatural, set in Asia, and dark. Supernatural made me think of ours by what's his name philip b williams there's a girl a girl who has a magically concealed town where she brings freed slaves i'm guessing this would count as supernatural like magic is supernatural right um should i pick this i think i will because when am i gonna read this unless i pick it for my pile of possibilities <laughs> Okay, I guess one word title could be I could do Homegoing by Yagi Asi or I could do Clitemnestra by Costanza Casati. Both of those are books I really want to get to. <laughs> I would also really want to get to James, but I want to read Huckleberry Finn first. Um, James by Percival Everett the retelling of Huckleberry Finn from the from Jim's perspective. If I have Piranesi, maybe I won't want to read Clitemnestra too. Like both of those are kind of mythological. What else did we have? Set in Asia, as long as the lemon trees grow by Sulfa Katu, which I also really want to get to. Like, see, this is, I'm one of those people who keeps pushing like the good ones. <laughs> like saving them for later because I don't want to be disappointed I don't think and like I don't think I deserve to read the best ones immediately like I have to earn them by reading worse books I don't know it's also like I don't want to just read the bright and shiny thing <laughs> I want to read maybe things that I don't that I'm not as, as excited for but like that might still be really good books but I just don't pick them up, you know. This is an option for what? For set in Asia. Um, we had The Pearl That Broke Its Shell by Nadia Hashimi, Kite Runner, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. I think this is too long again. I'm gonna save Pachinko, I think, because I have um, others, other like similarly, oh, I have those as well. Where are my new books? <laughs> I also went thrifting, so I also have this pile to choose from. <laughs> oh my God, I am so ridiculous. I also have Escape by Carolyn Jessup, which would work for one word title. This is a memoir. I could also do Americana by Americana, I guess. Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Um, oh, I have so many good books now. <laughs> this did not become easier. Okay, so I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna pick an extra prompt for set in Asia and see if I can narrow down my choice a little bit. And this could be any color. And we'll just see if I have anything that fits both prompts. So this was a blue one and it says, what does it say? What? It says money. I feel like, <laughs> um, I feel like it's gonna be this one then because money doesn't grow on trees, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and also it's like gold. <laughs> yeah, that's my association <laughs> to this. Money doesn't grow on trees, but lemon does. So lemons do, yeah. Okay, this one then. So we have that and this. This is gonna be a great pile. I can already tell. So let's just pick another prompt for one word in the title and see if it helps me choose. Got a green one. So I think that's Chandra, right? Okay, it says biography. It's gonna be escape. I'm completely ignoring audiobooks, but I do have the wager on audiobook, so yeah. Okay, this one. <laughs> and let's see. 
Historical. What do I even have that's historical? The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. The Mercies by Kieran Milgr Mildwood Hargrave. Okay. Is set in... 1617 so that's definitely historical let's also check what i have on audiobook i couldn't really find any historical fiction on my well yeah i have the household by stacy halls but i i mean i did read mrs england pretty recently so let's mix it up and let's pick the mercies because I've had this for a while now, I found this one secondhand in English in a secondhand store in Sweden. So that was a great day for me. Um, yeah, let's pick this one. The Mercies by Karen Millwood Mil Hargrave. Then the one we have left now is Dark. This might be fun, maybe. It's like a political, legal thriller, which is the first of a series. I also have... The next parts to um, Prison Healer on here. That might be an option. Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse is another one I have. This is a fantasy science fiction um, that's supposed to be good. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think if I'm going to listen to The Wager, I'm going to need something a little bit shorter or like lighter. The center is shorter. It's a crime thriller, mystery, comedy, humor, parody, satire novel. Darkly comic. It's written by Aisha Manasir Siddiqui. This is about translation and things. So that might be interesting. It is 8 hours and 36 minutes. I have Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Should I pick another prompt for dark or should i just go with while justice sleeps yeah i mean a thriller is good and i like a political legal thriller i think this is supposed to be pretty good and it's a little bit chunky though <laughs> but i do like a thriller and it's been a long time since i read one and maybe that would be good to mix it up a little bit okay let's pick this one then <laughs> for my pile of possibilities for June. Okay, so let's wrap this up. For Supernatural, I picked Ours by Philip B. Williams. This is set in the 1830s in Arkansas. Um, there is slavery going on and there is a girl who has a magically concealed town where she brings freed slaves. Um, so there's history and magical elements and it's a pretty, a pretty big book, um, and I think this is going to take me a good while to get through. It's over 500 pages, and they're pretty... Um, it's a big book. <laughs> so maybe this will be a good one for book club in July, um, because I don't think I'm going to finish this in June. Maybe. We'll see. That's my pick. Then we had the prompts set in Asia and then narrowed down by money. And money doesn't grow on trees, but lemons do. <laughs> so <laughs> I went with As Long As the Lemon Trees Grow by Sulfa Katu. Um, and this is set in Syria and it's a YA story, enormously moving. Yeah, I think this is going to be an emotional one, but I think it's also going to be really good. So I'm excited about that. Then we had uh, one word title and we narrowed that down with the prompt biography. Um, and so then we have Escape by Carolyn Jessup. And this is a biography of a woman who escaped the fundamentalist church of Latter-day Saints. Um, yeah, really intrigued by this one. And I found this one secondhand. I'm sure that's widely available in like libraries and things and probably easy to get access to. I don't think that there's going to be a long line for that one. So, you know, that's good too, I think, to have like a mix of <laughs> newer books and older books in case anybody else wants to read them. Next up, we have Historical. And for that, I'm choosing The Mercies by 
Karen Millwood Hargrave. That's a tricky name. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. This is set um, on an island outside of Norway. And I think that there is some kind of relationship evolving between two women. And there are only women on this island. And then some people come there. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this one as well like all of these books. <laughs> so the last prompt was dark and for that we're going with While Justice Sleeps by Stacey Abrams. Um, and this is a legal political thriller. It, there's the White House and there's the Supreme Court and there are secrets in Washington. Um, this is the first of a series. I know that there's at least one more book out and yeah, it's compelling, thrilling, twisty, uh, New, York Time, New York Times bestseller, and yeah, that seems really exciting. <laughs> For book club, we have um, Peter Nessie by Susanna Clark, which I haven't read the back of. It, I have only read Peter Nessie lives in the house, perhaps he always has. I just know that people like it. And so I'm trying to go in as blind as I can and yeah, really excited for this one. <laughs> and last but not least, we have The Wager by David Gran, which is a nonfiction, but reads like a fiction. And there's like shipwreck and mutiny and stuff like that. They're on a ship and stuff happens and it's supposed to be really good. So that's the one I have on audio. Um, and that's the only one I have on audio. That's not really like me. <laughs> um, but you know, things like this go in waves and sometimes you want to listen to audiobooks and sometimes you want to listen to or like read a physical book. And yeah, I think this is a very good pile to choose from in June. And I think I was a little bit more efficient than I usually am. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so if you want to join the book club in June, we're reading The Wager and Piranesi, and then I'll put a poll up or you can write in the comments if you have any thoughts on which one of these books you would like to add to the book club, um, if any. Um, and yeah, please let me know if you want to read any of these books um, in June or later. If you don't have time to read them in June, I'm going to make like a book club kind of video <laughs> so that's gonna stay up and so if you read any of these books later you can come back to the video and you know take part in the discussion that way um, everyone's welcome and everyone's welcome whenever they can so that's the point of the book club and I hope to <laughs> see you there um, yeah Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming this, um, even though I'm always so indecisive. I don't know what to do about that. Um, anyways, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Stop.